once I'm done with them, I quit cussing and I say, God, I'm that's what? pretty. That's pretty. Like a little kid quits hitting himself when they have the hammer. It feels so good when I stuff. <laughs> and they are pretty. That they are, the yeah. stuff that's in them. And yeah, there's, there's nothing else like it. Yeah. 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 I'm down in Costa Rica when I was working for Surf Express. I, the guy at No Sara, I can't think of his name. He's a Balta guy. Oh yeah. I cannot think of the man's name. He uses Costa Rica. And some of the stuff he had laying around there. And Does he the, make boards? Yeah, make oh yeah. Boards? yeah, he's, yeah. I, 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 I'd have to go find him on the internet. I yeah. Uh, my name retention is just zero. But yeah, Costa Rican Balta. So kind of a darker shade. And it's hard to get Balta out of the country. Yeah. You it's pay. A, you pay a. a Tariff to get it out of the country. Now you're talking Ecuadorian balsa, or uh, I, I'm not sure yeah, where I was. Greg and somebody was talking about it when we were down in Costa Rica, and uh, it grows down there. he said, um, "What if we make a box out of it for shipping, and we put all of our stuff?" <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Greg, Greg's mind's always working. Greg's out. Greg's not stupid. <laughs> Pretty sharp guy. <laughs> I guess I said, I guess you could do that, but the guy at the airport's gonna say, that's a nice way to use balsa. <laughs> oh. shoot. So yeah, I, I didn't know you made balsa boards. I yeah, I made uh, yeah, I actually, know. I probably in my lifetime probably made. Uh, Close to a hundred balsa boards, really? I would think. That's yeah. A, that's okay. Well, that's... since I got here in '63, I made my first one in California. Wow. Okay, so yeah. that's going back a ways. Yeah. All right. Now this is the old-fashioned way with solid pieces of balsa that you're gluing up and the whole nine yards. Actually, I got the blank all glued. Pre-glued. Okay. Pre-glued. I don't know how I did that. Not chambered. No, oh no, not I never did a chambered one. That sounds like too much work. Yeah, it's too, for me it's too much work. Just shaping it was too much yeah. work. Okay, so somebody else is gluing up. Somebody else uh, probably was Lyman. I probably bought a blank from him. That's the only one I can think of because Greg would have said, "What are you doing with that?" <laughs> <laughs> he was keeping an eye on me. <laughs> so I always went around. <laughs> But not that close enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be... Now you've got this solid thing that's what, six inches thick? It's thick, square. And square. And square. Like a... Like a trestle tabletop, but six inches yeah. thick. Yeah, there's no contour at all. You gotta Everything build, is done by... you got to oh. build it all in. You, I think there might be somewhat... Uh, some kind of a rocker to it, a little bit of a rocker, but you have to build on the rocker that's in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm even that. just cutting the outline. Oh, it's a job. And this is not with fancy power tools when you're first doing it. This no. is by hand? I never had fancy wow. power tools. Wow. Uh, that's... A friend A friend of mine, Billy Everwine, from what I hear, somebody was telling me he still cuts his boards out with a saw, a straight saw, which I... I quit that a long time ago and okay, went to a, yeah, yeah. a little skill Oops. saw. Yeah, yeah. You go yeah. Around. yeah, that worked for me. I guess if you're, you know, if it's what the muscle memory is all yeah. about, so yeah. you go with what you know. But you uh, shaped me a board once a very long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen him in years. He's around though, right? Who? Everyone. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Billy's around. I think he works for Quiet Flight. Okay. Shapes there. Uh, yeah. He's a good shaper. Yeah, yeah, he knows what he's doing. This town is well endowed. Oh, it is. This is the epicenter, I think, for Dead Brevard. Yeah. Uh, for, for some, yeah. If you can sell boards here, it means you're pretty, probably doing a pretty good job. You're up against some pretty stiff competition. That's yeah, right. absolutely. And the people know that, and they're not going to accept anything except... Right. And they shouldn't have to. You know, I mean, they... Make me a balsa board. <laughs> <laughs> I want one now. I <laughs> Do you have any balsa boards laying around? Sean has one. All right. At some point, we're going to need to. I go. made that on pieces. I mean, I I made two. I had enough balsa to make, and I glued these up. 
Okay, this was the What's Randy? Home. Randy Thomas helped me. Randy, well, the original Longboard House Randy. Right. Yeah, who was a sweetie. The only person. Longboard House Randy. Thank you. Okay, yes. And, uh, yeah, he, he helped me. And then finally when he got down to, I shaped two uh, out of what I had. Right. And then he glued this one up for me, too. Oh. And before that, I used to glue them up in my shop down there. I had the... It's all the clamps yeah, and all yeah. this. Stuff. And they're really not hard to do, you know. That's the easy part. Right? Yeah, that's the easy part. But this this one uh, was different layers of balsa, okay, that were glued together. And he glued it differently than I would glue it. He got mad at me for saying something. <laughs> And I said, this, you know, whatever, I'll get it done, which I did. Oh. And it had some really beautiful wood in it. And I, I put some color on it. I had it, uh, I can't even remember the colors, but they were lines, you know, like red pin lines. Pin lines. Okay. Running, yeah. running straight with the with the Oh, with the, with the glue up of the balsa? Yeah, with okay. the, so it would uh, not take away from the, from yeah. the balsa. And I put a tail block on it. And it came out really good. It came out thinner than I wanted, but it had to because the layers were different, you know. Yeah. And I knew it wasn't going to be written, so I mean, it was different set of considerations. It's called anatomically correct. It was anatomically correct balsa surfboards. That should be the name of a punk rock band. Right, <laughs> and it was. It, I mean, it was perfect. I thought, you know, of course, yeah. I made it, but uh, and I gave it to Sean. So that board's around somewhere. It's here. We'll have to. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to put the camera on it. Sean mentioned something about there's a storage place. Yeah, he's got a storage uh, yeah. place. Maybe we can do that. Yeah. Let you show off the boards and we can talk about them. And, and I had that, that one that hung in. It was balsa wood, that hung in um, the surf, um, in uh, Rusty's, the, the bar down below that served oysters and stuff like that. Yeah. The, For yeah. ten years it was there, and then I. I went to get it back, and the guy manager says, well, I don't know if you can have it, because he wasn't sure it was mine. Wait a minute. Now, that, would this be Charlie Ragland? It was Charlie that Charlie. I loaned it to, but it was... Oh, it wasn't Charlie we were going to No, it was, it was another guy that was uh, assistant manager slash bartender. That's what they started, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what and so. Play. I was really upset. I mean, I, it know, was your surfboard. It was my surfboard. Give me back. So I finally, I went back there that same day later, and Rusty and Charlie said, "Oh yeah, just get it." You know. Very good. I was very upset. Yeah. Because he'd asked me for it. He said, "Will you put something in there?" You yeah, know? and out of the goodness of your heart. No, I was drunk. I was <laughs> out of the stupidity of your drunkenness. <laughs> I was drunk, and I said, "Sure, I do that." Let's go with goodness of your heart. It's got a better sound. <laughs> so, and I was glad it was in there. I mean, yeah. a lot of people saw it, and it was pretty. And I like that stuff. And it had a, had that ghost surfer on it. What was it? The silver surfer. Oh, the silver. Oh, no way. It was on there, yeah. That's tacky. Sean had it put on there. That's tacky. The silver <laughs> surfer. Yeah. Well, like, looked like a lamb or something? Huh? Like a no, he had it brushed on there, airbrushed on there. Whoa. Okay. And, uh, on over balsa. Over everything, the finish and everything. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to talk to it him. It looked about good. That. Yeah, ask him about it. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll be asking. No. <laughs> yeah, your dad just told me. <laughs> well, it's called the Silver Surfer, <laughs> and, and the thing about that uh, was that that was our first sign, James and O'Hare. And no I way. I turned it into a surfboard. No way. Yeah. How does that work? Well, it was shaped kind of obliquely, you know, like a sign. Right. And like our decal. Right. But the nose, one side was narrower than the other. I put three fins on it and it looked like a surfboard. Unbelievable. And this thing was made out of? Balsa wood and redwood. Balsa wood sign? Balsa and redwood. Holy mat! The wood alone has got to be worth a fortune. And uh, well, it wasn't real big. It was about five to six feet, you know. Oh, but it's, it came, it came in perfect oh. in the '80s, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. 
and it was perfect because things were getting short. Where is short. that now? You know, Sean doesn't tell me where half the stuff <laughs> is. He just, no! he just keeps it. I know it's safe. I know it's safe with whoever he has it, so that's all that matters. He had to be my Easter Island statue that I'd completely forgotten about 15 years ago. Really? Just a, like two weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I wonder what it, Well, maybe I should ask him very nicely to go down to that storage unit. And maybe we'll see some. We'll maybe see. your yeah. sign will be there. It could be. I don't know where else it would be. Yeah, now you got to be curious. And now, and I have another uh, board down there at, at Holiday Inn. I loan it to the Holiday Inn, Tony. Sosa asked me if I put it in there and it would get a lot of exposure in the, uh, the vestibule, whatever it is. It sounds like something that Tony Sasso would say. And, but now it's not. How it's you doing, not, Tony? It's not, it's not the Holiday Inn anymore. Right. Okay. And they've got it? I th as far as I know, I hope so. Are you going to be able to ask Charlie to get I'm it back? Ask, or is he not involved? No, I have to ask Tony to get it back. Should we go get it back now? No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I haven't even asked. I did ask Sean about it when it was still holiday, and he said, yeah, it's down there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we work Now, okay, now, are you talking about in the front desk, the lobby, or the, 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 the lounge? I think in the lobby, somewhere in the lobby. I'd, I'd love to go up there and look for that. <laughs> Maybe I'll know. take it home. Maybe. <laughs> I'm here for Pat. Uh, we've come to uh, retrieve this. I thing. bet you have to. Well, he said he got it. I used some to cook paperwork. at that place. Peter Did Van Heusen was the manager. Peter Van Heusen. Van Heusen, I think was his name, or Van something or other. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't, I, he's probably not. That's been a long time ago. I, uh, I was up. Uh, uh, speaking of stories, I was working yeah. at Dino's one night, and uh, this lady that comes in, I wouldn't say all the time, but three or four times a week, you know. Regular enough. She comes in uh, late at night with the manager of the Holiday Inn. Okay, so. Okay. And he orders a drink, she orders a drink. I realize he's really wasted, okay. He's on his way. He's on his way. And uh, <laughs> Maxine was her name. I said, Maxine, I can't serve him another drink. So they got into a big argument with me, and I said, Really? And being the type of bartender I was, you want to kill yourself, kill yourself. It's late. Nobody else is going to be out there. Just run into that wall over there, whatever. Nicely said. <laughs> and uh, so she's yelling at me, not yelling, but saying, do you know who he is? And I said, no, I don't know who he is, Maxine. I didn't know him until you introduced him to I me. I love it. And so I give him another drink. He gets up to leave, falls over the first step. Ouch. Winds up in the fireplace. Whoa. And she looks at me and says, you shouldn't have served him. Yeah! Oh, you just want to kill him! And I'm going, you know you can't win. You, 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 you can't. There's, no. You, no, way. no. They're going to get you. <laughs> yeah, I learned a long time ago, you don't argue with a drunk. You no. just cut him off or you ignore him. Or you him. just ignore him. Oh, God. oh yeah. We, we got to do more of those kind of stories. He too. did. Just fell right into the fireplace. Oh, and she turned oh, at me and said, you shouldn't have served. He was there to straighten you out. You, you should have listened to her. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, what time is it here? We burned up another hour. Um, if you're willing to do more of this, I'd love nothing better. Okay, we can do a little bit more. We can, half not hour. today. Not today. Oh, okay. but, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. We, cause you've yeah. Got, there's but so what, many stories uh, we haven't touched yeah, on. We need to talk about the Internet. What is... Well, let's do that while the camera's turned off because these guys oh, is don't want to hear that. No, it's not off, oh. but I'm going to fix it so that it will be off. Oh, I didn't say Internet. He said Internet. I heard him. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more later.